Hey everybody, so this is my little uh, review then for Aliens Fireteam Elite. I have uh, just recently finished the last mission and yeah, the campaign I think is about 8 hours. So, not bad, but I'm going to start by saying if you've read any of the reviews, what I've noticed is that it's purely uh, down to like the reviews are purely down to whatever the reviewer was expecting. So, if you're expecting something more akin to World War Z and Left for Dead, then you're pretty much not going to be disappointed. But if you're expecting something like Alien Isolation, then yeah, and yeah, this is this isn't that kind of game. This is more co-op shooting and not really much in the way of narrative from what I've seen. So this is basically the embarkation deck, the uh, sort of hub that you and your team members run around in and you can talk to some of the other characters and whatnot. And the game comprises four campaigns. Each of them uh, consisting of three missions and you can sort of match make uh, what I will say is, with the matchmaking, from my experience, there aren't many people playing the game at the moment. So if you are looking to, to, to get the game, then it's probably best to make sure you've got friends um, that have got have the game as well, or you know people who have the game, because you can play it single player, but it does get really tiresome at points, and you really need other people. And I'll get into that, uh, the reason for that in a, in a little bit. But yeah, you can sort of um, challenge cards. So each mission you can sort of activate these little um, cards, modifiers that modify the mission somehow. One of them, for example, is that you don't get any HUD. And yeah, you can sort of do casual. You unlock the last two when you complete the last campaign. And f what I've noticed is, so you see, uh, recommended combat rating 150, and that's on casual, and it's the exact same for standard, so I'm not quite sure what the difference is between those two. Like I'm, sh um, I'm assuming one's normal, one's easy, but yeah, there's no, re I, I, from what I can tell, there's no real difference. So yeah, this is the loadout. Now, another thing I noticed is there aren't many... Um, customization options you can get. So you come here for your customization stuff and any sort of attachments or weapons you want to buy. But from what I can tell, if I go to the loadout screen, there aren't like many variations on outfits or uh, uh, stuff you can wear in your head. Um, yeah, it's a bit underwhelming at the moment. <coughs> The big thing is, though, um, the big takeaway for me is that. <coughs> Sorry. Hmm. My mouth's gone. My throat's gone dry all of a sudden. Um, yeah, so the big thing for me is. Because I, I mostly played this single player due to not being able to match make with anyone. And. Uh, one of the things I wasn't expecting, I was kind of hoping for, but I wasn't quite sure is that you get these two AI companions to come with you and you can't actually customize them and I think they just basically have the uh, let me get back up like the gunner build so yeah they, they basically just have the regular base uh, build that you start off with and you can't customize their weapons or perks or even customize how they look so that was a bit of a letdown for me because I was hoping because one of the things I think it says in the back of the game case if I can check is yeah see so customize your fire team uh, five unique classes with 30 plus weapons but what it really means is just customize the character you're playing so yeah that was a bit uh, that was a bit of misrepresentation there with what was on offer which was disappointing. And uh, yeah, so 
um, where was it? Yeah, the, the the perk system here is a bit of a bitch as well. So you get like the core stuff for your classes that you can equip, like so. Uh, which is fine. Some of these things connect to the ability um, bars and increase that. And I, um, one of the things you have to know looking at this, because it took me a while to wrap my head around what this was, because I was um, jumping between different classes to unlock, uh, to do like the weekly and daily challenges. So it took me a while to start unlocking these things. But if I go to my demolisher. Uh, like the little areas start disappearing the more uh, you are, you basically upgrade the class, not your level, your character level, but the class level, and uh, yeah, you, you you basically will notice a difference when you get to a certain level and you are able to pack it up a bit more heavily, and I think some of the modifiers you can just buy from the vendor over there. Uh, so yeah, some of the systems fine. Um, again, the campaign really isn't long enough for you to get acquainted with some of that stuff, which is a shame. The campaign itself is okay. Um, has has a plot, has some nice little plot twists uh, for an Aliens game. Uh, you spend most of the time just shooting things anyway, so it doesn't matter. And yeah, I mean, <coughs> if you come into this game expecting Aliens instead of Alien, and Left 4 Dead instead of Isolation, you will not be disappointed. The actual gameplay is kind of fun. It's a bit, um, uh, kind of feels like a Sega game. Like, if anyone's ever played uh, Alpha Protocol, which I know is a dated reference, but, um, yeah, it, it kind of feels like that, the gameplay does. Like, it, it hasn't got any uh, real weight to it. Which is a shame. Ah, cool. Yeah, you also can pick up little uh, bits of intel like that uh, throughout the missions, and then you come back and you talk to some guys and you, you get some more information about the world because I believe the game is set um, uh, two two decades after the trilogy. So, uh, uh, Alien, Alien, Aliens, and Alien Three. They're not really going to be counting Alien 4 because it's like, what, 300 years in the future uh, of Alien 3 or whatever. But yeah, yeah. So, like, those are the, some of the things that got me. So it was like the, uh, the, the AI partners. The AI partners were a bit of a letdown. The weapons, even though it says in, in the advertising there's like 30 plus weapons, you only ever really use the pulse rifle or. Um, Whatever that is, the heavy weapon. <coughs> I can never remember. And also, now, because the matchmaking is almost non-existent, some of these classes are actually made around having an an actual, like, player team. So your team members not being AIs. So the technician is armed with a revolver and a submachine gun, which is not great when you're in an AI team, so that's not really a single player class. Uh, the gun is fine, the demolisher is perfect, as you can see by the rank, so that's the main one I've been using. Didn't really use the dock, but uh, he looks a bit more sturdy than the technician somehow. And yeah, you unlock the recon when you complete all four chapters. <coughs> And, yeah, uh, I'm assuming Horde Mode. So when you complete all campaigns, you get Horde Mode. And I'm assuming this is the... I haven't played it yet, but I'm assuming it's the end game um, setup they have going forward. So you can unlock more decals, outfits, attachments, paint colours for your guns, etc, etc. Now... Yeah, I wasn't going to... Uh, this, this little review wasn't going to be a long one. Is this going to be me blurting out random bits just to make you guys aware but what I will say is that I 
like I said earlier, um, I don't know what's wrong with my throat, sorry guys, but um, yeah, well, like what I said earlier, I would recommend the game um, if, if you're expecting a, a decent co-op game. Don't play the game though if you want something that's very suspenseful and, have, and has a lot of horror to it, because that this isn't that kind of game. And like the, the actual environments and whatnot are quite varied. I assume some of those carry over into the horde mode as well and are expanded on. <coughs> so yeah, I mean, I'd recommend it only on those conditions, or if you had, or if you're just looking for a decent co-op shooter. Uh, I, I got it because, well, hey, I like the co-op shooter. Like I do like co-op shooters. Then I, I don't know anyone who actually plays the game though, which is a shame. But I got it because I really like aliens, and uh, which is the other reason you should probably get it. <coughs> and um, yeah, I mean, that's all I pretty much got to say for the matter. There's not a hell of a lot to dive into in this game. Uh, it, it's mostly just little things I think they should improve on if they add extra content. Like increase the amount of customization options, add like a feature, like in the loadout bar. Then so you got like the loadout kits here. Just add like a little feature, like a little uh, menu down there, which allows you to um, mess around with your AI partners, select weapons and uh, kits and whatnot. That would be a great improvement. The uh, towards the end of the game, more content is kind of hinted at, so I assume they will be supporting this going forward with extra campaigns or modes or kit or whatnot. So there's that to look forward to. I haven't actually looked into any sort of like timetable for that, so who knows when that content might come out. But yeah, that this has been my little review then. Um, I promise uh, next time I will probably grab a drink, so I'm not coughing my guts up. Um, no idea what happened. <coughs> what the hell has happened with my throat, but uh, yeah, thanks, thank you guys. If you could leave a like, leave a comment down below. Uh, have you played the game? Do you like the game? Do you hate the game? Uh, are you just not interested? And are you just watching this to leave a hurtful comment? In which case, put it down in the comment section, buddy. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take care.